Okay, so we're up to 150. Now, I should point out that the ingredients, I'm sorry, the instructions say to start your fire, then put your grains in a bag and add them to the water as it heats up, okay? Until it gets, you know, to about 170. Don't let it go past 170 while the grains are in it. Because what you're doing is you're extracting from the grains, you know, their special character. Sorry, I'm jiggling the table. Um, but past 170, you'll start to get into a range where you're going to extract from the grains undesirable, you know, resins and esters that you don't really want. So, you know, it'd be really cool if this thing had a holder. I guess that'll work. Oh, look out. Okay, so you can just put the grains in there and let them soak the whole time while it's getting its way up to 170. As long as it's a minimum of 30 minutes to do so. Because it'll take 30 minutes, you know, to really get it going. What I do is I let it get up to 150 first. Because once you get above 150, you're going to get much better extraction from these grains. And extraction is exactly what we want. And we're really getting flavors. Certainly we're going to get some sugars out of these grains. Alright, but um, we're going to get most of our sugars from the multitude of little packets you saw on the table. But mostly from the extract. Um, this is where the term partial extract comes from. The sugars are coming partially from an extract instead of entirely from an extract. The rest of that partial is right there in front of your face. So, we are going to add this to the water just like a big tea bag. Just let it, you know, bounce it around a little bit until you get gets all nice and wet and it'll start to weigh itself down. It'll, it'll want to float, but that's fine. Nothing's going to get hurt. You will get powder out of the bag. That's not a big deal. Um, I tie my bags off. There's going to be some of the stuff that was crushed to the point where it's gone to powder and it's going to come straight through that bag. Not a big deal. There's going to be sediment. That's life. Live with it. There's sediment in every good bottle of beer. You drink it all the time. Okay, at this point we're pretty much done with the lid for a while. Um, I want to continue to use, you notice I'm using two thermometers, that's because I don't trust them. One of them is made by a reputable company and one of them is generic, so I'm pitting them against each other to see what's going on. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to let this thing steep for a half an hour, and I'm going to make sure that this thing does not go above 160 degrees. Whip out the trusty cell phone, and Turn on the timer, it's going to sit here and wait for 30 minutes. If it gets up to a, above 160, just turn the temperature down, you know, or turn it off. You want it to float in that 150 to 170 range for a half an hour. Or like I said, according to the instructions, you can just put it in to begin with and just let it soak the whole time as you're raising the water from whatever temperature you started up to 170, as long as it's at least a half an hour. Um, so there's another half hour to wait. See you in a minute. Okay, 30 minutes is up, so we are going to remove the grain bag, which I'm going to do slowly because beery goodness. What's in my grain bag? Four ounces of Munich. Four ounces of honey malt and eight ounces of black roasted malt. Oops, there's our 30 minute warning. Okay, so we'll take this and we'll put it somewhere which, like an idiot, I forgot to get something to put it in. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is turn the heat up. Bring it up to a boil. As quickly as you please, guys.
Okay, here's something I wanted to mention. Um, we're bringing the bo uh, we're bringing the uh, water up to a boil now. So the next step is going to be to add our extracts. Um, and before, when these came in a pickle barrel, I did this. It's no different now that they come in these mylar bags. Woohoo! Just putting both bags in some very warm water. Um, it's going to heat up the inside and get a lot of this stuff to you know make its way down to the bottom. What I'd like to do is get it as, you know, as fluid as possible. Heating it up is going to help. Everything else is powdered. In a lot of cases, I don't have anything but the syrup. So um, when, it, when they're in jugs, sit it in some hot water, syrup it up. Now, the best thing about the jugs is you can actually pour some of the hot um, sweet wort into the jug and switch it around and dump it back out. You can do that with these. It's a little bit harder. So uh, we're just going to let it sit in the warm water until the other water comes to a boil, and then we'll come back in here and get them and uh, dump them out. Okay, cheap boil. So what we're going to do is drop this burner down to almost nothing. All right, and we're going to start adding our sugars. Now the thing is, you don't want them burning on the bottom. That's why you're turning the fire off. All right, we're gonna get a stir going so that they swirl in. These things will start to, you know, mix in as soon as they hit the water. Um, they're very, very light and powdered, like baker's sugar. So uh, it's not a not a huge worry. Of course, I've got a whole bunch of steam getting into this one now. So. Not a huge worry about. And, by the way, I'm using a plastic mixing spoon. For those of you who have wooden ones, uh, that's really cool, but these plastic jobs are really easy to sterilize and all that. Okay, so we've got that stirred in. Now we're gonna add the liquid extract. All right which I had warmed up for, you know, five or 10 minutes, but it's still like glue, man. Anybody's ever worked with uh, liquid nail? It's like liquid nail. <laughs> Whoop, okay, let's get that stirring. Same thing, we don't want it burning on the bottom. We're just gonna let that dump in for a while. Very black sweet work now, very dark color. It was uh, much more brown to begin with, and uh, you know, when I first pulled out the grain bag, much more brown. Um, but I think it's a really good black, and this is supposed to be a honey stout, so you know, we want to see a good dark color. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one off camera, but just for this first one, just so you guys can see this. Mylar has no insulating properties whatsoever. So when you pour a hot liquid in here, that heat is gonna go right through the bag, straight into your skin. So, I'm using an oven mitt because I can't find my welding gloves. Which are here in this garage somewhere. Pour some of this nice hot sweet word in here. Clean my favorite coffee mug. Uh, and it's clean. Okay. Um, yeah, the outside of this bag isn't sterile. Boiling water, guys. Okay, so you know what the cool thing is? Zip top. <laughs> These things are zip locks. So, there's my wife calling me. Anyways, stir that up. Jesus. And that'll come right out. Okay. And then we're going to bring that fire back up to a boil.